Hi everyone, welcome to another week of Sweet Talk with Sweet Pea. I'm Annette and this is Alison. Hi everyone. And today we're going to talk about some of the new releases we've had over the week. Um, and we want to start talking about some of our older designs or newer designs that could be used as... Yeah, preparing for Christmas. We yes. should all be shopping and sewing. Yeah, well I think so. know, yeah, a lot of our customers actually are very organised mm. and have started months and months ago. But yes. A lot of us need a bit of help. Some of us have to work too much yes. <laughs> to actually have time to and, sew. And inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're going to just show you a few designs that might be quick and easy, ones that you can fit easily slip in the mail and get, yep. get delivered. And, you know, with the mail being the way it is at the moment, things need to be posted kind yeah, of that's true. very soon. So we're getting on to it now. So the first thing we want to talk about is our blocks that have been released this week, Alison. Yeah. So we've got our 12 blocks Start with Christmas. the little one. This is the seventh day and this is uh, Seven Swans Are Swimming. That's right. So that's what it represents. Of course, you can't fit seven swans on no. anything. Of course, there'll be 12 blocks and we have the numbers just set off the embroidery so you don't have to have the numbers if you don't want them on your wall hanging or quilt or whatever you're making out of it. Um, and we've also got a special Facebook group for everybody who's doing this quilt so that you can all just see um, photos of what everyone's done with yeah. that design. Actually, the blocks are so beautiful. They we are. really don't even have to tell anyone it's a 12 days no. of Christmas quilt. It's just a that gorgeous... That could be just part of your library quilt. that you could just go, oh, yeah, yeah that'd be beautiful. Yep. So that's our 12 blocks of Christmas. So then um, the yes, other... The yes. blocks being released. Yes. So this is our oddly traditional quilt, Ellison. I suppose we'll try and hold the whole thing. So we have done videos with Emma, who digitised and designed designed and digitised this quilt. Um, I think the brief you gave Emma, Ellison, was um, something bright to use the new I wanted to do fabrics. the, yep, well, I, and I actually made the fabric so we could make a quilt like this, because I love a black and grey mm. quilt with, with really bright colours. And it's often hard to get those blacks and greys in a fabric. Yep. So of course you don't need to use um, our fat quarter block of the um, shades of grey. No. And this is our finished quilt made yes. in the six by six hooping. That's right. And this is basically all the blocks we've released as we had them laid out. But of course you then can just continue if you want a larger quilt, just adding blocks however you like and t trying to come up with some different yeah. creations. You could. That's a three-quarter circle and a half on there. You could do a whole circle. Mm. You could make it look completely different, you couldn't could, you? Yeah. This one here, you could put them all around and actually end up with a star shape in the middle. So yeah. And have a lot of fun with that. So um, this week we released block 11 and 12. We were doing it um, monthly. Yeah. But we decided we'd release these last two quickly so that um, everyone can get the quilts done. That's right. And also you'll find on the website, uh, there's a product called the assembly of the quilt. It says it's zero dollars. So basically yeah. it's free. Yep. You can add that to your cart and order it and you'll have exactly how to assemble, assemble this quilt the same way the, we have. The binding, yep. the backing. And you can have yours at any size, of course but we've list shown you the method of how to add yeah. the binding and everything like this. So once again, we've got a Facebook group for this this design um, and everybody's been participating in that by posting wonderful photos. Yes. Can't believe how- There's some amazing ones, yeah. yeah. So we've done ours really bright. There's a lot of different colorways that we're seeing. So this yep. is really, really good. So everyone will be happy who's been doing this quilt to see <laughs> that those, like, those last blocks have been um, released, Ellison. Yeah. So that's that one. Then, this week we had um, our two, oh, well, we had our new sew along, our kiss sew along start. Yeah. We've already spoken about this, but I just thought I'd show it again. I'll just lay them out. So everyone's welcome to join. It goes for a couple of a uh, couple more weeks. You get um, a thirty percent discount on that design when you're in the um, kiss, which is called keep, keeping it simple sew along group. You'll get a thirty percent discount in that group for the purchase of that design. Yeah. So that's those, the Christmas tree ornament design, that one's called. 
And then the other, our other regular November song's been going for a, a week and a bit now, a couple of weeks. So again, we've been seeing wonderful work with the different trees. People are having so much fun with yeah. this block. We've seen coffee, sh so you can substitute the, the, the text on this for whatever you want. You have so to use your own software or the software on your, that's built into your yes, machine right. to do that. And fussy cutting as well. We've got little faces looking yeah. out windows and that's a view of a, some Christmas toys. And here's a snowman who lives in this house. So if you were making this for it's a gift, Alison, it, it'd be a perfect time to kind of um, personalise it for the recipient. Mm -hmm. So Some people aren't wanting the snow. No. So we just suggest, so just say you've done a red roof, you could just do Change a red the thread there and it just won't look like snow. That's right. So, so easily they're, they're done and really the same good. here. Yep. Well, that's actually tinsel. That's so tinsel, you can but do that this, in any this one's snow, so you could so make you just that. do green yep. as well and, on top of the and make a blend into your roof. Yep. No, we're, we're seeing people having a heap of fun with this. Yeah. So that's really good. That's that one. So that's our November sew along, the Christmas village design. So that's those. Now, Alison, Christmas presents. Yes. So many Christmas We're presents. pretending and it's giving me a present. Yeah, as we? Alison actually <laughs> does not, not know what's in these Don't boxes. So anyway, we'll start with the little gift bags. I it's not like a jack in the box is going to jump yeah. out of well, some of them I think I can jump. Oh, the gift bags them. here, yeah. Just, that's just a new design out. I just wanted to show that yeah, again. Absolutely gorgeous. So they can be made in the different sizes. And it's actually, the design continues around the back. So this is the ribbon that's from the bell at the front. This bow continues around the back, the sash goes around yeah. the back with a little candy cane. Same as this one. And it's crossed over at the back. So that's all embroidered, applique and embroidery. So you get this, the three different styles in that in that um, design set, that one. So that's on the website as well. Mm -hmm. That's that. Now, Christmas presents. So I can't even remember all this and what I put into <laughs> the so these will be, will be the yeah, they are, aren't they? I like that one. Ooh. So these are things that can be made quick and simply and good some of them gifts. good for gifts and yep. I think people will enjoy them. So so this one here is one that you can, well, you can either hang it on a door handle, but the other thing is you can put it over a PowerPoint, you put the plug through there yep. and put your phone in here to charge it. As long as no, no parts of the um, charges touching the, That's right. the fabric. You could also use it to hang on something and store your earbuds and phone or, or yeah. anything actually. Yeah. What's it called? It's called the Handy Hanger Organizer. So yeah. it comes in um, 5x7 and 6x10. Yeah, so that would be the 5x7 and this will be the 6x10. So that's a, a good little gift, isn't it? Like mm -hmm. you can have it hanging just on your doorknob put things in it that you need. If you're always someone who's always losing your glasses, yeah. you could have them on every door in your house with a spare pair of reading glasses. I should have pointed out too, <clears throat> that the five by seven is two hoopings, and yep. that's how we can make something almost as large as, as the six by 10, 10 which yeah. is made in one. So these, yeah, so these would be perfect, Alison, to put in a, um, a mailer and send it in an envelope or something, yeah, so and you can send that small. in the mail as a gift. It would be. Actually, what you could do is you could put a gift card in there. Ooh. So the recipient would get that and go, oh, that's a gift card. <laughs> okay, and these ones, we don't talk a lot There's about a them. In. We do have a few. These are what we call fridge wraps. This one's so cute. And we call them fridge wraps. They're supposed to go on the, can the handle of a refrigerator. But we find people make coordinated sets and they can put them on... Um, well, they put them on their seat belts, handle know. of their stove, of their oven That's door right, and things. Yeah. This is the seat belt one. Yep. Yeah. So some people, I think it's because um, in the heat of summer that the, the straps that go across well, you they get cut hot. Into you actually. Or cut, yeah. So this, do you have that across there like a, nice your seat belt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. And then we've got um, an angel one, so the car one. This is just a, a plain quilting pattern. And then this one's the flower. So I think this is the first one we ever did, the yes, flower. Yes, was, yeah. So you could colour coordinate to your kitchen. <clears throat> this would be nice for Christmas. So they come in different sizes, 6x10 and 7x12. So these ones were all made in a 6x10 hoop and you can actually just see the size pretty much. Yeah. That's the size of your 6x10 hoop. So as you can imagine, the 7x12 would be bigger. Mm -hmm. Holding it upside down. Um, the final dimensions of those will be on the website as well. So they'd be another gift, easy to put in a um, package to send away. Put that back again. I really love that box, it's cool isn't it? <laughs> it's so hard to see. Popsicles. Which one do you want to pick next, Alison? Well, I'll go big. Oh. 
Have a look at this one. It's got a little koala on the front. Cute too. Ooh. Okay, so this one is um, a children, little children's gift, so I'm thinking. Ooh. So, let's start with this one, since yep. it's the biggest one in there. And it's a beautiful little block for them to play with that has a few textural elements to Very it. Very tactile, isn't it? Yeah. It's called the 3D Baby Block. Sorry, the dinosaurs this way. Is it We've used that, you don't have to, you could just use the satin stitch if you want to leave that off or you could get inventive and put whatever you like in there, bits of ribbon or something. A koala and with his little koala. ears, being a bit squashed. <laughs> so it sort of encourages a young out. child to touch yeah. everything. They're, they're pieces of ribbon we've used there that you can feel. Flat. Oh, little ducky. I should have been counting. Well, no, this is that probably the last one. <laughs> <laughs> the sun. Anyway, so that, that's great. great. It's a present from um, child. So the, mm -hmm. and this comes Ooh. in the four different sizes: four by four, five by five, six by six, and seven, seven by, seven. by seven. So this was under a six by ten, six by six hoop. Yep. So um, you can imagine that can be smaller or mm -hmm. bigger. Um, these are well, these are anybody could have them. Glasses cases. Yes. So for um, this a matching. That's a boy one. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you know um, any younger people who wear um, spectacles, So glasses. this one here is made in the 5x7 and we've got a little catch there you just pull over and with the bigger hoop you yeah. can actually make it in the hoop so it actually has a flap. Yeah, the flap you, you can, just can't get the flap in a 5x7. We've used a can snap but you could use pieces of velcro or yeah. whatever, magnetic snaps, yeah. whatever you want to use. And what I like with these Alison is because we have our batting in the hoop. It actually protects it's the glasses. soft. So it would protect the glasses, yeah. They're very cute for a child. Yep. Or for anybody, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, we've got a little boys bag, and we do have matching girls one. I just couldn't find it. Okay. Also, in that big box of things we've got. <laughs> boys stuff. Oops. And the other one's called girls stuff. And this one's just in the five by seven, and it's all lined inside and no raw seams. So that's made with um, raw edge embroidery. Raw edge embroidery. I love his and hair. The pulling a little tractor along. So you, you could fun. actually you could actually um, put the, the boy's, boy's name, name along there. Yep. Yep, you could. And it's so cute. I like that one. Very cute that one. Then this one may be for an older teenager. If you're stuck for teenagers. So this is our sneaker pencil case. It comes in five by seven, six by ten, and seven by twelve. Basically, this is how it is with a piece of applique for the boot. So you'd pick a white. You can either do Plain white and colour it in, or you could use bright fabrics, whichever way you want. And then yeah. on the back of them, I'll just show that one as well, they have this lovely embroidery. And you can make them in the 5 by 7 6 by 10 or 7 by 12 And this one here, someone's had fun colouring, colouring that in. <clears throat> we yes. usually use Sharpies, but sometimes people use a watercolour paint or something, and then you can actually, when you wash mm. it, you can paint it again. You'd want to, I think um, we'd suggest that you test it I think you because test if you're giving yes. it as a gift, you'd want to make sure that yeah. it works the way you did. So yeah. um, if you wanted to use the colouring in, you'd use a plain, plain background fabric mm -hmm. and then all your stitching's black. I mean, it's effective just like that, isn't it? It is really. I, I think I like it better like that. Yeah. Because you could use variegated thread yeah. or something too. Yeah. So right. again, with this, and we've done it with our colouring, other colouring and designs, you could give, gift this to somebody with a packet of um, fabric markers or yeah, pens. And they could do that. Mm -hmm. So that's that one for a teenager. What else have we got? Oh, this is a teenager one too. I stuck them together so I wouldn't lose them. <laughs> so you often see teenagers, young people with yep. headphones. So this is the set. So they bought individually. So that's the headphones. Mm -hmm. And this is the earbud zipper case. So this comes in 4x4, four 5x5 by four, five by five, and 6x6. Six by six. And there's 6x10 six or 7x12. And we do have the dimensions on the website for these if you want to make sure the headphones. measure the headphones and make sure they fit. Yeah. I mean if this this style doesn't fit in, in on occasion, mm. you could just put their other type of headphones in there anyway, just the earbud type yeah. or something. But yeah. So that's that's a that'd be a really cool gift. Mm. Easy to post as well. Yep. And this one can actually go inside yeah. here if you want to yeah. carry them. Oh and it's all lined together. All lined so it's not better not put it inside there though because then no, we do find that, it again. <laughs> we do that with things and then we can't find them. This is what anybody, I think, these these games that Silvana so with the straps and everything, so you can take them on holidays. So this is a checker game. So it's just a, it won't sit flat for the minute because no. we've um 
and she was rolled it up. So it can be made of 4x4, 5x5, 6x6 and 7x7 hoops. And we this have a little so bit cute, of that. This it? is for all ages as well. Yep. It's like a, just a travel set basically. Look at this. And even the fact that they're, they're sitting up because they're fabric, it still sits on there anyway. They're quite Makes stiff, aren't they? Like they're, yeah. they're Makes me want to have a game. Yep. <laughs> I can't remember how to start. Alison and I are very competitive, so <laughs> we might not get that on film. It might not end well for Alison when I win. Our brother's so good at inventing games, we used to call him John Sands, which is probably an Australian company who, who makes games. Yeah. So that was his nickname because he just it, it made up the rules yes, to whatever yes. suited him, it basically. Wasn't, it wasn't because he made up the games. Hello, it was Peter. halfway through a game, if Peter didn't think he was winning, there'd yeah. be a, all of a sudden be a new rule yes. that would aid him into winning. So that's why we called him John Sands, yes. <laughs> and I remember we played... Trivial Pursuit with our cousins once who, were oh. little, who weren't that much older than us, but a little bit older than us, and they studied the cards beforehand. They had the ones under the table yeah, that they yeah. had memorised. We thought they were so clever, yeah. didn't we? They must have memorised the, the the answers of like the first top cards. That's right. So not the whole lot, but no. they just knew that they'd get the answers from. Yeah, I know. They had so us going, we go, you're amazing. You're so getting smart. these questions right. <laughs> I wonder we ever play games, Alice, with all these cheeks in our family. <laughs> okay, and this one is like our version, our version, our sweet pea version of tic-tac-toe. We called it hearts and kisses. Mm -hmm. Hugs yeah. and kisses, sorry. Hugs and kisses. So you can take them out of there and actually this can go on yeah. either side. We've just got it that way actually to keep the game on the inside so it doesn't yeah. get dirty or anything. So once you have your board. Yep. So you could make it more traditional looking by having a black and white. We call it warts and to. crosses in Australia. But I've heard hugs and kisses. Um, let's, have know, let's have a quick oh. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. It's the challenge. I've gone down first. Okay. There's a lot of pressure. We're on camera. <laughs> it's going to be remembered for all time. I know. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that wasn't very competitive. Well, it was because we we're at a stalemate, isn't it? <laughs> we are. Okay, you're blocking me. Well, the question is, Alison, you've got an extra hoover doover. Yeah, it's a spare. It's a spare one. Well, I don't know why. <laughs> you just make as many as you want anyway. That's right. They must have got carried away and made Actually, maybe many. she wanted to change the colour because these are there's three pink ones, so. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, so, that's But you can fun. see how stiff they are. They're, they're really good. They're not they're not floppy or anything. No, and then you can just tie them together. So, so this wouldn't this be a good game to have, like, one. um... When your grandchildren came over, you just whip it out, keep it on the coffee table or whatever, yeah, and have a game with them. I think it'd be good them. for family holidays or... Yeah, you just throw it in a suitcase, a carry bag. Anyway, it's good for a gift. And then we can turn this out again. Get the kids off the phone. As I said, you don't have to do this part, but that just protects your embroidered side. I feel like playing more games now. I do too. <laughs> Although it was probably a good finish that neither of us won, so yeah. neither of us can skite about that. No. So let's stick okay. all of that in there. Yeah. Well done. Like an Indian giver, you give it to me and then I'm going to give it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one? Yep. How about one on this side? Sounds good. Have you looked at that one yet? No. I did the top okay. one. I can't remember. I cannot I remember. Oh no, we didn't do that top one, it was that one. Yes. Okay. Ooh. So this is for um, this the female, good. like a female present. So this is our geometric dot bag. We've seen a lot of them made actually for men as well because they're yeah. a great shaving so bag. So dop, I actually looked it up. I'd never heard of that word before. Is it an English word, an old English word that means like toiletry bag? I don't know. Oh, I hadn't remembered. I had yeah, actually, it um, Emma de designed it. So. Yeah. so it's got quite a large base. We made it a 4x4 so it can four actually or 5x5. Spread out five. probably further than even the amount of stuff that we've got in there. So we've just put a few things in to show you and also we've got our little face cleansing pads here we've had a, a, a lot of good reports a lot of people who have bought them and made them with the, you know, and use the toweling they've yeah. really, they're really good we bought microfiber yeah. kitchen cloths they're called reusable makeup removers you know the microfiber yeah. so, so, so we could so get, soft. and we've got the pretty colors yeah so soft <clears throat> and you could make a, quite a few out of each cloth and then we've just used up scraps. We've used a type of webbing, but you can use whatever you can lay your hands on, or if you can't lay your hands on it, you can just you can save some yourself. fabric. Yeah, to make your own little, little straps. Strap. 
That would be a lovely present. I think so. And, look, and the way they're nice and floral too. Yeah, they're pretty. You just throw them in the washing machine, don't you? And they yep. just wash. Yeah. Awesome. Now these ones are, oh, I have no idea what they're called, Alison. I'd have no tag on them. No. Well, they're kitchen scrubber things. <laughs> I'll put it up on the screen. James put it on the screen. James will put it on the screen. The screen. They, they are more, they're a wipe too, but they are, we've used our mesh yes. on them, haven't we? Yep. So it gives it a bit of um, texture on it. Yep. We've actually used it double as well to give it even more mm. texture, and they're just great for the kitchen to do your washing up. Exfoliate your face. You could use them on your face, I suppose. Or your skin. like an exfoliator. And do it on my skin cancers. Yeah, poor Alison. She's small off. That's one of the things living in Australia, and particularly up in Queensland where we live, um, mm. sun's very, very strong. And even I was pretty particular about wearing sunscreen yeah. when I was a kid and everything because I burnt so easily. Yeah. And still. Yeah, we've got the same skin. Well, being sisters, we have. <laughs> well, it's a bit fairer. Right? You are a bit fairer, maybe. I'm just seeing sun. <laughs> anyway, you won't be seeing me next week because I've got to get my face done next week, too. I've got skin cancers on my face, so I won't it's be here you, next week. If you say to people, I'm getting my face done, they'll probably think you're getting a facelift, Alison. <laughs> Could be what I need more than the. Oh, is this you're telling me you're getting your face resurfaced, like for skin ah. cancers, but she's actually getting a facelift? Let's see what she looks like next yeah. time. I don't want anyone to cut me open for <laughs> no reason. And these are just little, little gifty, little gifty They're items. They're wallets. Yeah, two little wallets. They're different types. Yep, so this was the um, <coughs> first one that we brought, one of the first ones we brought out, wasn't it? And this one's a bit different. I've got the purse there and then a spot here. It's for more of a traditional wallet, isn't it? Yeah, and very easy to make. Oh, this, is the, this is the floral wallet, floral wallet this one is. Mm. Oh, there we are. Floral, floral wallet. <laughs> I can't floral say it. It's like a word. Wallet. Wallet. <laughs> if you follow wallet. it step by step and don't get overawed by the process, yep. you'll end up with a lovely purse. This one's a different type of purse. Yes, a deep purse. This one, we'll have to put the name up on the thing because also I don't have the tag. Yep. But look at the beautiful pro I love the these roses or whatever they are. Yeah, and it's got that out other stitching around them. Yeah. It's so pretty. So this is like a it's a long, you can use it just as a long bag or you can fold it over. Yep. Just to fit in your handbag a yep. bit better. Okay, so more glasses. Okay. So these I thought were probably more adulty type ones. Okay. So this is our houses phone wallet, uh phone case and, and the, the glasses, glasses case. case. So actually, I made a pair of one like this for my husband to yeah. encourage him to keep his glasses, his sunglasses, and reading. And glasses. as Annette said, once you put the pat, uh, batting in, they're yeah, lovely soft. and padded. Very soft. They're very good. Those ones. And this one's got a pretty stitch all around. That's one of the edge. earlier ones that you made, also. Wasn't yeah, it? I love all these. They're called Japanese torps. Mm. That type of fabric, and they use them a lot in traditional Japanese quilts and sewing. They're gorgeous. Very nice. And, and then we have this one, which is actually ends up a little bit smaller. It's made in the five by seven. Handy hand, hand sanitizer. sanitizer. And if you put it in there upside down with the lid to open yep. here. So easy to we put, put on a little handbag. lobster clasp on it so you can hang it on you or hang it on your handbag. Yeah, because I'm forever looking for the, my little bottle in my yep, handbag. I used to so carry mine can... in that, yeah. just attached to my handbag. It makes yeah. you use it more That's if, right. if it's out. And being cloth, you can just throw it in the wash too if it gets <coughs> grubby. Yeah. So these are our little <laughs> kookaburra. This is a kookaburra peg bag. And this is a car trash bag. So we have trash in it. I was wondering why we have rubbish in there. Yeah, I do. Well, but it can be the pe a peg bag too. Yeah, yeah. But when we made that, I thought, oh, I'd like to have that in the car, mm. hang it in the back on the door handle well, or something. Close. Yep. So you can put your, put rubbish. your rubbish in and there. And then this pretty. one, this one's um, you'd put out on your clothesline for people who have the old-fashioned clothesline. Mm. Or hang it in your laundry. Or in your laundry. And your little pegs go in there. It holds a lot. Actually, some people have made these, and um, they've hung it on um, a door in like a um, their daughter's room or something and they can put all their hair clips and yep. ribbons and things in it like that. Yeah. It's a cute little bag. So that can be made in a six by ten or seven by twelve. This one was made in the six by ten. That was made in the seven by twelve. By 12 yes. So you can see the difference. Yeah. Um, and the dimensions will be on the website for that as well. Yes. So that's that one. Right one. They're quick to make too because they're all in one hooping. 
so you end up with a complete yep. present in a very short time. So I think this is the last box, Alison, our Merry Christmas box. Mm -hmm. So this is our car shaving bag. Yeah. It has a lovely shape to it. That's actually a panel that's been sewn in the hoop too. You turn around and we have a zip in the top to get to the large area and then hidden over here so hidden I can't find it there's another zip for and it's all lined you probably put your tablets or things that you need to get to yeah or smaller things like your tweezers I don't know whatever yeah. you're taking and then I'll just show you the embroidery. And it's got a pocket on the inside too, else in the lining. And this can be made in the 5 by 7, 6 by 10 or 7 by 12. And this one's been made in the 7 by 12. And has a beautiful vintage car I on it. I like the way it's got the tags on it, that tab, to help you pull the zipper. Yes. I forgot about the pockets on the inside. So we've added some pockets down there too. Yes. So if you wanted to, you could um, use a more waterproof lining on you the inside could, yeah. too, couldn't you? Yeah, I to think make it a bit more. Probably would be good if you're going to keep like a wet toothbrush or yeah. something in there. But also, I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't throw that in the washing machine. No, if it got a bit grotty. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the um, matching one to that little one I showed you before. This is that the dop bag. Yeah. Geometric dop bag. So it looks a bit squished because I have had it squished. <laughs> squished. But that is a huge bag. Yeah. I mean, it looks a bit more masculine because of the colours we've used, but you okay, could yeah. easily make that a it pretty is women's It is hard bag. to find things to um, sew for men, though. And gift bags, yeah. So the, either of these actually yeah. would be great for a And men. actually, you know when, when people go travelling and with their suitcases, you can get those storage cubes and stuff that yep. put things in? You could actually have these for men's socks actually. and stuff. Like yeah. you could you pack all your hubby socks in there and have another one for his underwear and stuff and then yeah. and keep it all in the um, separated suitcase. in the suitcase. Yeah. So that's a good um, gift idea. Then um, the things that <laughs> didn't fit into the boxes, Alison, yeah. <laughs> re-gifted to myself. Just a couple of things for crafty okay. people. So we've got a knitting bag. This is very cute. This is made 4 by 4 5 by 5 or 6 by 6 blocks. And our crazy the sewing tote bag, which is 5 by 7 6 by 10 or 8 by 12 So we've actually got a bag for... Um, so they're great for a sewer or a knitter. Yep, we've got a crochet bag as well online and also a handmade with love bag that's mm. just got like a generic type of yeah. crafty feel to it. So yeah. they're just a few gifts of ideas we thought. And we have another new release. Oh, we do the new releases. We do the new releases. Yes. These are our fabulous gnomes. Our gnome wall hangings. They are as cute. As. So we've got two two men on the end there, and um, a cute little lady gnome in the middle. A no, what do you call a lady gnome? A gnomette? <laughs> a gnomette? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and she's got long hair. Yes. And these feet are made in the hoop with a soluble stabiliser. Yep. They're and quite. Then... They're quite. We've made them with our, our PU faux leather and they're kind of quite. It gives heavy. them good stiffness actually, yeah, so they're so they hang. They their hang feet well. aren't all wobbly. So they're not too. Flippy flop in the air. No. So it's um, just two panels. We've used a bit and then another panel with the legs. Textured fabric for their beards and hair. And if you're going to use a fabric like that, when you're doing the applique of the fabric, it's a good idea to put a bit of soluble stabiliser on top yep. and then stitch it down. So the satin stitch just stops all this fur getting caught up well, in, the, it, in the needle. And it doesn't and sit well if you stitch over no, it. Like it doesn't. So but with these, are... these gnomes, they don't have to be Christmas, but if you made these mm. in a Christmas fabric, they would look like little Christmas gnomes. Yeah, Otherwise, they're right. just like any time of the year gnome. Yeah. So that's them. And then just the other one, we can leave them, we'll just leave them there. Yeah. It's what we've, we've spoken about before, but it's just, it's been released this week. We spoke to Naomi. Oh, yes. Our new digitizer designer here at Sweet Pea. So Beautiful this is a cushion. Um, Christmas stencil cushion. Bench pillow, sorry, bench pillow. Yeah. So there's um, five different panels, and she's kept it quite simple. The um, we wanted something that people like could make for decor that would be quick. Yes. To sew, so we so come fiddly. up with these. The applique is not fiddly or anything, yeah. and it's what you'd get if you actually had a stencil and you would like stenciling something with paint on a wall or something. Yeah. So there's some exciting yes. new releases. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. I think next week, Alison, we might talk about. Um, 
stuffed toys. Well, I won't be here, so. Oh, next week I'll be here <laughs> talking care, maybe by next myself. Week. I'll be talking, about <laughs> talking to myself about usual. stuffed toys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining everybody. All right, bye. bye. Have a good week. So if you've liked any products on the video this week, uh, you can go to our website, which is swpea.com.